Okay, here we go on uh, question four, and we're looking at some pH now. Um, so we've got hydrochloric acid and we've got chloric on one acid, and it's giving me the pKa of that one. Why is the value different, and I need to calculate the pH of 0.14 moles per decimeter cube solutions to two decimal places? So the first thing we need to say HCl is a strong acid, and therefore fully dissociates in solution. Um, however, chloric acid is a weak acid and only partially dissociates in solution. So that's why they're different. Um, right, how can I now calculate the uh, pHs at those uh, two different but HCl is dead easy. If that's my concentration of hydrochloric acid, hydrochloric acid is, um, just has one hydrogen per HCl. Therefore, the concentration of H plus for HCl is going to be the same as being 0.14. Therefore, the pH is equal to minus log. So the base tank is 0.14. Let's quickly bung that in. Log. 0.14, change the sign, that equals 0.85. For the next one, it's a weak acid, so for HClO, um, I need to work out my concentration rate plus using Ka times the concentration of the square root it. Ka, uh, now I have to find Ka from the pKa, uh, which is um, a little bit sneaky. So let's say uh, Ka is 10, so 7.9, That equals 3.72 times 10 to the minus 8. So 3.72 times 10 to the minus 8 times my concentration of 0.14. And I'm going to square root that. That gives me 7.21 times 10 to the minus 5. Um, and then pH I'm just going to log that. Change the sign. And that gives me 4.1 Right, so I'm to do some um, equations now. It's a bit hard for me. Um, aluminium powder is added to aqueous ethanoic acid. Write the full and the ionic equation. So, I've got to know your formula for this one. Aluminium is in group 3, so it is going to form Al3+. That means that you are going to need three as bad rates for that. You are going to make three and a half, sorry not three, one and a half H2s as well and I need three of those to get to balance. Ionic equation, well um, the actual phanoate ion doesn't change and therefore it becomes aluminium plus three H plus goes to aluminium three plus plus three and a half H. Okay, we now need to calculate the uh, pH of a solution of sodium hydroxide. Um, there's various ways of doing this. Um, the way I probably roll with it is finding the concentration. The concentration of OH minus is going to be the same because uh, one sodium hydroxide contains one OH minus. Um, therefore, if you find the pOH, which is minus log to the base 10 of your concentration of hydroxide ions, so let's do that, log 0.4 equals 
Okay, gonna find the pH now of a solution of sodium hydroxide. Uh, various ways to do this. Uh, this is just one. Uh, concentration of hydroxide is gonna be the same as sodium hydroxide, because one sodium hydroxide contains one hydroxide. Um, so I can then find pOH is equal minus log to the base 10 of hydroxide ions. That actually gives me, oddly enough, 0.4. pH is then 14 minus pOH, uh, so it's 14 minus 0.40, which gives me 13.60. Oh, right, nice buffer question now. Explain what's meant by a buffer solution. Right, well, I've cooked it up um, already. Buffer solution minimizes pH changes on addition of small amounts of acid or alkali. You've got to have those key terms in there to uh, get the um, answer. They want me to talk about methanoic acid uh, buffer. So that's the dissociation of methanoic acid um, from Mark. And then you're going to talk about if you you add H plus HCOO will obviously react with H plus to give you methanoic acid. Um, so the equilibrium shifts to the left hand side to remove the acid. If you add alkali, then the acid there will react with the alkali to give you water and the equilibrium shifts to the right hand side to replace the um, acid that has reacted. Okay, so this one's a bit of a tricky one. Um, chemist prepares a buffer solution. I mix methanoic acid with sodium hydroxide solution. Volume is one decimeter cube, so that makes it nice and easy. First of all, explain why a buffer solution is formed. Well, first of all, the metho methanoic acid is going to react with sodium hydroxide to form sodium methanoate and water. So that there is your salt of your weak acid, but if you notice, um, which we will come up in a minute, but the methanoic acid, you can see from these values, methanoic acid is in excess, so there is still some methanoic acid um, remaining. So we need to say methanoic acid is in excess, so some still remains after that reaction. Okay, now it's time for the old calculation. And that you know, you've got to you've got to watch that because obviously those two would not form a buffer because that is a strong base. Um, right, so how can you do this? Well, here we go. First of all, if you work out your moles of methanoate, that is going to have we know from um, AS concentration time volume over 1,000, concentration 3.20 times my volume over 1,000, that comes to 0.64 moles. I can now work out my moles of sodium hydroxide that I added, which is the same concentration times volume over 1,000, that comes to 0.40 moles. So, 0.40 moles of sodium hydroxide would have reacted with my methanoate. So, moles of sodium methanoate is going to be the same as that because for every one mole of that I put in, I put one mole of that. And moles of methanoic acid remaining is going to be 0.64 minus 0.40 which is 0.24 moles. Okay, so once you've done that, you would work out your concentration. Because it's in one decimeter cube, those are your concentrations, so I'm not going to worry about that. So I can say, um, not is that the moles, that is your concentration, 0.4 moles per decimeter cube and 0.24 moles per decimeter cube. And then um, I need to work out the pH they told me what Ka is, so if I go over here, Ka is the concentration of H plus 
times your concentration of methanoate over your concentration of methanoic acid. So your concentration of H plus is going to equal Ka times your concentration of methanoic acid divided by your concentration of methanoate. Ka, they told me, is 1.70 times 10 to the minus 4. You can times that only your concentration of methanoic acid, which is 0.24. And then you put that over your concentration, sorry, 0.40. You put that over your concentration of um, methanoate, methanoate is 0.24, methanoate is 0.40, okay, right, eventually. so you fund that all in um, and you should get your answer, let's just make sure 1.7, can I suck that up so badly, times 10 times 0.24, equal to that, divided by 0.4, is equal to 1.02 times 10 to the minus 4 and then if you pH that I get it to equal 